Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the uh, Thursday edition of the Tiger Technicians Hour. And we're looking at the Dow up 28 at 39,935. Um, All-time high. It's pushed above the left side high of 39,889 made on the 21st of March. <clears throat> this is going to be very interesting because we've seen these double tops that go to sometimes within pennies of the of the previous high, sometimes over two years or even three years. This is a little different. This is just from March, and here we are in May. And um, look at this cup formation that you've got here in the this is the weekly chart right there. And what we're really looking at here is that the MACD is still weak, it hasn't crossed positive in the in the weekly chart of the Dow. And the stochastics at 54%. That's kind of weak. On balance volume is a little bit overbought. And the nine period moving average is golden. I mean, that is the thing that you want to monitor. And it is way above the 14. And that says there is still internal strength in the weekly chart. All right, let's get to this. So we're looking at the Dow making a leg C. In the travel wave methodology, I need to emphasize this over the next few days. Could be totally wrong, but this is the norm. This is what we always look for. Uh, let me just see. Is it this one here? Yes, it is. Uh, we're always looking to see from an ideal uh, low uh, turnaround to see if there's an, uh, a buy signal that gets upgraded to a buy mode. And then you should see at least four higher peaks. That's peak A is the first. The next peak higher is four uh, is, is B. The third high, highest peak is C. Fourth highest peak is D. You can go even to an E, F, and G. There's never an H. But in D, other things can happen. So in this particular instance, we've gotten to a leg C at an all-time high. That confirms that that is a buy mode that should, under every uh, every condition, majority of the time, it'll get to a D, and it could go higher, but D is your objective. That's where you have to reassess and see exactly what's going to happen. Right. So that's the Dow. Um, the S&P has gone a little bit further in the Chapman Wave notation. Did I write? Did I type it in the wrong place? Probably did. Let me type it over here. I do this every time by forgetting to change the window. There it is. So the S&P is up 2.26 at 53.10. That's over the high that was made at 52.64 back on the 28th of March. This is a peak. There's even a chance we could get an instant restart here. I just need to see something here. I was asked about it if I keep my eye on the uh, E-mini. Yeah. So the E-mini, uh, one-minute chart, has just had 5336 I mentioned in the, in the den that 5336 is going to be really important actually now it's 55 it's a 200 period moving average um, and there we are we've gone up and down and up and down now we're even trying to test the real 5334 after dropping to the 5328 level in the e mini and look at the weekly chart it went green after being pink I also want to mention that you know I talk about this 914 um, how incredible it is. I call it the indicator of last resort. It's the one that keeps you. Look, here's, this is the 10-minute chart. If you look at 11 o'clock when my show was finishing yesterday, what happened was the nine-period moving average I had mentioned, the nine-period moving average was over the 14. And at that point, look, if you use it, a lot of people use the MACD because the MACD most of the time takes the shape, takes the pattern of the actual uh, uh, symbol that you're following. But what happens when it starts to fail and yet you make higher highs? That's where my indicator, the 914, comes in. Here's the other thing. The stochastic was making lower lows and lower highs. The on-balance volume even did until that big spike right there. Now, what we've got is that this long – look, I drew it in. I was drawing it in all last night. It, it made a peak D in the one-minute chart. Peak D is your objective, and then other things can happen. Well, it pulled back but held the nine period moving average. You got another A, B, C, D held, and then that was the high from uh, 2340. That's uh, 11:40 uh, last night uh, Eastern time. Uh, the 53:43.25 high. <clears throat> that was the high, 
And then there was the high all the way through this narrow rectangle. Look, it held it, held it, held. You know my rule of narrow rectangles. I've had webinars on this. This is what's called a, a narrow rectangle. There's a whole philosophy behind it. It's not a philosophy. Philosophy doesn't always have strict rules. This has strict rules. So that's your long, narrow rectangle, and then the large rectangle something different. And the rule of the narrow rectangle is, especially at a high, especially when you've closed, the market's closed at about 4 o'clock, and then you just get this, especially after a spectacular day. And then it goes sideways. Well, when it breaks and goes underneath that 14, uh, sorry, underneath the trend line support, that means that you're now looking to see whether or not it comes back and goes back into about the middle, it would be 53.38. Uh, if we can go above that in the next hour or two, that's going to be really positive. But right now, you've got a lot of resistance, just a lot of kind of overhead resistance. Let's call it that way. But here's what's fascinating. Look at this. So the V-shaped pattern that you've got right now has got the, the one-minute chart very close. It hasn't yet, but it's very close to going L back to uh, green in the 914. That huge pullback in the five-minute chart didn't even budge. It didn't even go pink. It's still green. That's really positive. And the 10-minute chart is still pink. So you've got a little. You've got mixed indicators here. Got to give it a little more time, and then we'll assess. We'll give it about another 15, 20 minutes, and we'll come back and we'll assess it. Now, the other thing that we're looking at here is. I had an indicator, yes, uh, uh, on Monday I had an indicator that said uh, that the uh, there should be a week oh, on Friday. I had an, a very low trend gauge reading that said that there should be um, some weakness in the Dow, even if it's just fractional, and then, it can, and then you can rally. That's exactly what we saw. On Tuesday I had a reading, uh, Monday, what are we doing with today's Thursday? So yesterday, for yesterday, on Tuesday, we had a reading that said uh, we had a reading on Monday with a high uh, trend indicator, and it said that there should be a sharp move up in the e in the futures, the E-mini S&P futures. Well, we certainly got that. On Tuesday, we had a reading, also a high trend gauge reading, and that said, oh, there should be another one, but you, I, I hardly ever have I seen two in a row. And when I did my historical look back, it said – when you've got two in a row, which is very rare, much of the time you're in the middle of a move to the upside and it actually continues to the upside. So that – did I just mix things up? I did. There was a very low trend reading. Two low trend readings is very unusual. And that said that the Dow should yesterday have been negative. But it was negative right up until the 8.30 report and then it spiraled higher. So that's a failure for that particular in in index on that particular day. Then I had a high reading which said that there should be a rally in the E-mini overnight, maybe even into the next day. Well, we've so far gotten that. So that's uh, that indicator is working well. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is, oh, look at this. I would have grabbed it right to heaven. All right, well, this time we'll get a little bit of pullback. Maybe during the show I'll be able to do something. In the meantime, back at the ranch, what we're looking at is the S&P has made an all-time high. The... Nine period moving average is over the 14. You've got a left side, right side price time match, which it did in a, in a shorter period of time. I didn't expect this to happen over here with that as the plumb line at the low of the 19th of April at 49.53.56 would take to about here, and it just missed it. Now it's spiraled much higher. And I just wanted to say the QQQ is coming back again. Now it's up 42 cents. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Delicious Hour, Dow's up 67. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So the uh, QQQ is up 39 cents at 453.29. Uh, that's an all-time high. If you look at the comp index, that's the composite. That is two, over 2,000 stocks, I believe. That's an all-time high in leg E. This could even be an instant restart, but I'm, not, I'm just what I normally do is I just circle it and say, okay, be aware that you've got an alternative count there, but uh, follow the nine period uh, over the 14. That's most important. And the stochastics at 97.38 percent. On balance volume is a little overboard, but this is looking great. And the all-time high. Oh, look at this monthly chart is in leg D. I just wanted to do this right now because I'd forgotten to do it yesterday. The Dow has gone to a leg D. How quickly that happened, right within two bars, uh, two months, that is. So here's your D, and that could be an insert. That, that's a leg D um, with a very strong candle, but we've still got the whole month to go. We're only halfway through the month. And as I'm looking at this, the MACDs improved a lot. The stochastics flattered 92.65%. The on balance volume is a tad overbought. The nine is way over the 40. This is a monthly chart. Look how positive it is that weekly chart actually needs improving technically, but this monthly chart is looking great. Look at the S&P. It's already made. Oh, type it in over here. Look at the S&P. It's already made. There we go. SP. Next. Uh, a leg E. Now, that could be an instant restart in the monthly chart. I don't want to get carried away, but I always do this just to say a very quick D to E says you can keep a parallel account in mind. That is very positive. And as a leg D in the weekly chart, the higher it goes away from the left side high of 5264.85, the greater the chances are that now I've called this a leg D. But if you look at the E mini, I have to call that an E. So what we're looking at is the higher you can go away from that left side high. You remember, this is a technique that I've used for ever so long. It's the three, three uh, distinct patterns. One is a straight line up 
or a straight line down. The other is a cup formation. There's your cup formation or a V-shaped formation. And the other is an arc formation or an inverted V. And we've seen that over there. That was a successful H pattern. So this is when you come down sharp and you make the H and you fail and you take out the left side low. You've got to be really careful. Look, look how many failures there were at a peak A right there. Dreaded H, uh, another one right there that turned into a successful H and became a cup formation. But on the other side, the, inver the reverse green Y pattern says, if you take out that left side high, it's the same rules except on the upside. Well, now we've got this uh, right here. This is the backhoe that goes to a top, pulls back, and they test the, the left side high. How it takes it out is going to be very important because this is often where it turns around and you just get a dump truck where the, the back of bucket opens up and whoosh, the price comes down. A little visual there. But in the meantime, what we're looking at is it is still very strong in the day in the daily chart. That is the E-mini. Uh, all the technicals are good. On balance volume here is lagging a little bit. Let's see what it is like in the... Um, Let's see what it's like in the in the cash SPX.X. There it is. So there, the on balance volume is much stronger than the E-mini. And that's confirmation of a move to the upside. So with that said, I wanted to show you that you've got a, a monthly chart of leg E. You've got the QQQ, which are why is it the why, where does the price go when I start typing? It should go right here to the box doesn't okay qqq there we go uh, leg e st strong now it's much stronger up 66 and i was just showing the e mini um i was asked about it yeah this is a look how strong we've already got a leg d to the upside you've got a peak a peak b peak c and there's your d this is live this is what we look at all the time uh, there's your d right okay what's really important is the strong leg a to the upside now if i'm if i'm looking at this and i'm saying well the history has been for the past week or two that you can get a two-click session, and that 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 two-click session would have been taken out with a reversal to the uh, below five three three one, going to a lower low at five three two eight. But even from here, you could get a two-click session just as you had yesterday, meaning that from the eight thirty time frame, that green line period moving average in the ten minute chart went green, and it only went pink. This is unbelievable. What a technique! You could have wait instead of wasting your time going short at all, you could just Put that in and put your stop in and come back the next day. And here it is. At uh, 2 o'clock this morning, it it, uh, it turned pink. And now it's back to green. Pink, green, pink, green. Now it's green means it's still kind of in the trading band with that rectangle formation. But my point here being that it is an indicator that you can use. And I've used it so far quite successfully for our positions that we have. And look. We've got a nine period moving average that's very strong. Now, the price is a little bit too far above the green line. It says, hmm, be prepared for some kind of a pullback coming up soon, but the soon could be a couple of days, could be a week, who knows? But this is looking very good. And the QQQ is in leg C in the monthly chart. And the idea is to see it go to at least a D. So that's still very bullish for, the, uh, for 2024, for the summer, I should say. Uh, let's look at IWM as it come back a little bit. Uh, yes, now down only 88 cents in 208.53. Um, and that weekly chart's lagging a lot, but it's improving. That nine period moving average is over the uh, 14. The MACD is good. Stochastic is actually at 86%. That's good. Weekly chart needs a lot of work. It's like a sandwich. And the, the meat of the whole thing is in the middle. And that makes the weekly chart really important because you want to see the weekly chart get close to the 211.88 high that was made 28th of March because if it does that, you'll see the MACD finally turn green instead of being uh, uh, fi fi finally cross positive and the uh, nine period moving average, uh, which is still above the 14, that's a really good sign and you've got the stochastic kind of weak and the stochastic really needs to get over 80%. So it's a work in progress. Uh, and now I wanted to do a couple of things. Just real quickly, Gold is still down. It's down 16 after a very nice move to the upside. Just a digestive session. Silver is, so that's at 23.77. Silver is now down 10 cents. It was up and made a new recovery high. Didn't go above the, oh, 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 oh. 
I didn't type that in. Oh, that's because the futures. I hate typing the futures because they get smoothed out. 30.18 was the high of the 12th. So let me put that in, 30.18. 30, 30 and today's high was 30.10. So we just missed it, but it is a leg C, and it is in a buy mode. So that's really good. Uh, I'd say the silver is acting quite well. And the weekly chart is good. All the technicals are good, except the stochastics only at 70%. And the... Uh, the monthly chart is on a leg C, and it's broken above that resistance level, and that's important. Just real quickly, high-grade copper, pulling back a little bit, down 7 cents at 4.84. Um, bonds, right now, the bonds are up 5.30 seconds, um, making a leg D, and that just says, if I can go to the TBT, I'll show you something interesting. TBT made a peak F, I believe it was. Top, uh, there it goes. Come on. Yeah, peak F right there in the 38s is now down at the 200 period moving average in leg D to the downside. Um, and that's just saying, thank goodness, yields are coming down a little bit. And that's really important. Here's this inside track propellant zone, and it's right on the cusp of breaking below it. Huh, that's going to be important if the yields start to come down even further. I'll be right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com.
Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. So I needed to mention this because I, how the day progresses is going to be very important. Look at this one-minute chart, how the nine period moving average cross positive. It's already gone to a peak E. <clears throat> That helped the five-minute chart. Uh, that's a huge move from the 53.29 level to where we are right now at 50, 53.40. <clears throat> and the you remember I said that the 10-minute chart is still pink, but now it's gone green. So the, so we've got greens all the way around. And that just says you've gone – let me open this up a little bit. You've gone into this inside – whoops. This is a narrow rectangle formation. And you've gone above it. You've gone almost to the previous high, not the high that was made here at uh, 53.43.25 at uh, just before midnight. <clears throat> you've gone to a high close. Right now that high is 53.41.50. So, wow. I mean, two points, less than two points away. If this E-mini starts to trade, I don't mean just pop up once, but if it actually starts to trade about 53.43 between 12 o'clock, uh, uh, that's noon, and 1 o'clock this afternoon, that is going to bring in a lot of short covering, and it's going to bring in a lot of new buyers because they're saying, hey, all-time high, and it's still holding well, hmm, uh, that's usually a good sign. If the e mini under any, I don't care what the condition is, if there is a slump below the uh, first, the, the one minute 200 period moving average of 5336, that's just a warning. But if we take out the low of the day, so far the low of the day is 5328.25, that just says, uh oh, profit taking, and we'll see what happens. Uh, look at Boeing up six points. Huh, oh, Boeing's up six points. What is this? B.A. after all that bad news, look at that. Well, it's just walking the nine-period moving average and 14-period moving averages in the daily, but that really is still negative. But, yeah, I can see this. I can see, you know, Boeing is a monopoly. It's a duopoly, and if you're looking at not get buying um, the uh, the um, their opponent, you want to keep it American, although I don't know what the percentages of American parts they are. But... They, they have a monopoly. They can have to get things right. And at some point, you can't correct mistakes that were made two, three, four years ago. But you can start developing a process and a protocol that says, look, we are checking everything. But doesn't it feel like every month something new, something completely new comes about? Anyway, so this is a good sign. It's really helping the Dow. It's helping the Dow move to a plus 84. But you've also got the – so the Dow's up 0.21%. The the um, S&P is up 0.17. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, I, I think that um, after yesterday's action, you would expect, I would have expected about an 80 to 100 point down move in the Dow. And usually the last hour of trading on a day like that says you got to give back some and then you can start the day fresh. And we've got a bit of a pullback, but not much. So there's, there's buying coming in. Each dip seems to, uh, uh, thank you, Marty. Yeah, so I, I, all I can say is I don't know what the reason is, but if I was looking at the nine-period moving average in the in ignoring all the news, when it crossed positive for that big spike to on the 6th of May, Boeing went to 181.98, and then it went sideways. And basically, this is a pattern I love to talk about. It's the rectangle for me. This is almost at this point, it's starting off as a large rectangle. It could turn into a narrow one. But if there is a spike into the 185 level uh, in the next day or so, that's saying you're just making higher highs and higher lows. And that will look, this is a peak B. You've got a peak A right here. Uh, let me just double check because uh, I think it might be by a penny. 181.86, there it is. 
181.75. So this is a peak A. That's the way this methodology works because here's your starting point. Here's a B. Here's a C. So any move above uh, three days ago, the high was 183.68. 183.69 starts a leg D. That's a very quick Peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. And that says be careful because you're going to have a little bit of, a, not a sell-off, but a little bit of a pullback when it's that quick. One bar rest and one bar new. So what we're looking at is a nice little, uh, I, I call this a cluster formation. And this is your, I haven't yet got a buy. Oh, it is, 79%. I'm actually going to put an up arrow here. That's a little unusual. But I'm putting an up arrow because all the technicals are positive. And the stochastic is at 79%, almost 80%. Most importantly, I'm a little worried about that on balance volume. And that suggests this rally will fail at a certain point, fail in the sense that it stalls and comes back a little bit, and you have to wait for that on balance volume to really get strong. So, yeah, okay, that's boring. Next thing we want to look at here, I had questions and I didn't see them here. Where did I? Oh, so, you know, I, I don't know if this is a brand new thing because I, I got. Time, in, in I don't know what it is with this. I got a, the Comcast emails that I used to use. Everything changed because they were so old. So my guy Dan updated everything, and I'm not sure I'm getting everything because my, when I go to my uh, to one of my emails, not the TFNN one, that seems to be working okay. When I go to another one, um, yeah, I, I'm not getting on this machine. I'm not getting a lot of emails at all. Um, so all I can say is that I'm, I'm taking it that this really is not just some kind of a random uh, a reposting of, of an email, but it's about can you look at UEC and UUU on the show for longs? UEC looks like the better chart, but both companies – um, operate dr drastically differently. UEC doesn't have much revenue. We are long UEC, but are looking to reopen their minds now that uranium prices are higher. They're basically an unhedged player. UUUU, it, on the other hand, has been selling uranium and is responsible for two-thirds of all uranium produced in the U.S. I didn't know that. They've also recently acquired a rare earth company that is revenue generating. The CEO's position is rare earth prices have come down and he's taking advantage to create a more diversified cash flowing company for the long term. Hey, I like that. Okay, so here we go. UEC, uh, which we, we've had from the 360s and taking nice profits all the way up. This is Uranium Energy Core. And twice now we've had just a small position that we've added to kind of get back some of what we took off. And we've taken a little bit of a loss, even though my belief is that I could just hold it because I think UEC is going to break into the 760s in May and then start moving higher. But at this particular point, I'll be back and I'll do a little bit of work to update you, 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 and we'll be back for you. Energy. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, 
you don't have to worry about that. As Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. We're back, and we're looking at. Let me just get back to this. All right. So uh, that was the question. So the UUUU is Energy Fuels Inc. Uranium. <coughs> I've been talking about this chart for some time, and I'm saying, I think it's okay. I don't think it's great. And this is two-thirds of uranium from the United States produced? I, it just doesn't look that way. But it's made this arch formation in the weekly chart, like an H pattern that went to a lowercase m. And all I can say is that if you're looking out longer term, and I believe you are looking out longer term, let me tell you what I would do. I would be looking at this and saying, I have to have parameters. And the parameters that I'm looking at right now is that the 200 period moving average on the weekly chart uh, is trading at 618, but the uh, $6 is the exact 200 period exponential moving average. It's gone below that. It's my little V-shaped pattern trying to get above it. The, nine, the weekly chart, 9 is way under the 14. It's really not very good. But most importantly, what I'm looking at is it got a very quick peak, A, B, C, D, with a nice movement to the upside, the daily chart. Now it's just kind of stalling a little bit, having gotten there. The 200 period moving average is at 663. I'm going to say this. I know that you do like to look out. You're prepared to take a little bit of, 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 of uh, in a, a little kind of a, some heat if it doesn't go your way, as long as you feel comfortable that it is going to go higher. I don't have proof yet. Because the monthly chart has just gone S. That means the nine period moving average with two weeks to go has gone pink. And that's going to take a lot to actually turn it back to green. The weekly chart is pink. The daily, ch the, the daily chart is green. So, oh, man, I just missed that. <laughs> While I was talking, I thought I hit it, but I didn't. Right. So in the meantime, back at the ranch, what we're looking at is I would do this. I'd start a small position in U, 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 U. You haven't got anything yet. So you're looking as um, – uh, I'm just looking to see how you – okay, yes. So I, I this is the way I'm looking at it. 619, start a small position. I'd have to have – I don't like to say this, but I'd even have 560 as some kind of a stop. I'd prefer just for the moment not to have it. We can go through it again uh, at some point. But that's what I'm looking at. Just start. But the one that I do like better, but it does a lot of, it's been doing a lot of whipping around. And therefore, you're getting in. But I would prefer if you could go, get in and it goes to 728, 732 quite quickly. That's the UEC, the Uranium Energy Corporation. I like the candle of today. Most importantly, what I am looking at 
is that if it goes under 680, it can be stuck down here for a little while. But that nine period moving average in the weekly is still strong. And I like it. And I think that it's going to go high and it's going to crack this uh, longer term downtrend line and at some point go to the 761 area. And that's going to be very important on the close on the weekly basis. So here's what I'm saying. I, I prefer UBC. That's the one I would start. I'd say small, but more than a small position on this. And um, in this case, you need to watch that six, uh, six. I'd say 680 as some kind of a stop. But the way I would do this is I'd start a small position and I'd split it in half right now. I'd go right in at 711. If we can get to 721, what I would do is I would raise the stop on your on your now core position. And I would add another position so that you almost got your small entry split twice. Okay? That's the way I would do it. The other one, I would just start smallish position and I wouldn't do anything adding or subtracting. I'd just give it a little time. And what you want to see, and it's really important, is that UEC, right now I'm just drawing this line. Oops, I lost the line. Why is it doing funny? Boy, what's going on with the whole... Did I do anything? Yes, yeah, snap mode. I should know that. I don't know what snap mode is. It always interferes with my thinking. Snap mode. All right, there it is. There's your channel wave inside track repellent zone. You want to get there. Once you get there, you can start deciding on what's next. And that's where you're going to be close to start, starting to break out above it. I like it at 7 uh, or 7 12 right now. I'd start my position. Question came in about URA. URA is, in fact, the uh, Global X Uranium ETF. Now, this is interesting because this is almost at the highs. Look at that. 3160 was the high back in 2021. It tumbles down to the about the 18 area, 17 area, and it comes all the way back, makes a new recovery high, and now it's almost about to test it. So this is the one that is actually, actually making the U-shaped pattern, and like the indices, it's going to retest that top that was made at uh, 32... 32.60. Uh, is that correct? Yep, 32.60, the week of the 2nd of uh, February of this year. So I like this one. Uh, this is a peak C1, C2. I'm calling that a C1, C2. It's almost an exact top. It might turn out to be a D, but just I'm doing this quickly. But it acted like a, like a, like a D. So there's your C2. Give it a red top. And now you've got a brand new buy mode right here in URA. Trading at 31.66, up 20 cents right now. And I'm going to call that an A. And then you have to see underneath it are the other A's, right? There's an A. There's an A. That's a B. And that's a C. Uh, I could even call it a D because it didn't take out the low. But I'm calling it a C, and I'm thinking it's making a cup formation. I like it. Yes, you are a very good, Fletch. I, I do like it. Next question came in. Oh, let me just do this. I looked down, hardly ever remember to look down on my page. Look at this. VT. This is the Vanguard. Look at this. VT. This is the Vanguard Total World Stock ETF. As we're speaking right this very minute at 10 point, at 10, at 48 minutes, 49 minutes past 10. On the 16th of May, we're at an all time high. This is the Vanguard Total World ETF. ETF. Isn't that impressive, right? And what we're looking at, I've got this breaking out. Is this an F? Well, I have to put an F right here because it's either an F or an A. For now, I'm just going to call it an F in the weekly chart. All the And the MACD hasn't yet crossed positive, but it is really close to turning positive in the weekly. All the others are positive. So, yeah, that's the world. So that would say that supports in the at 112.56 right now. Uh, major support is between 110 and 109, and the WT, which is a little different. This is a this is the Wisdom Tree Inc. exchange traded funds. It has fixed income, currencies, commodities, uh, doing very nicely. Also in a cup formation. Uh, I think this one actually is in an all time high. No, it's, oh, what am I saying? All time high. I forgot to open it up. All time high was back in. Uh, August, was it? Yeah, August of 2015 at 25.98. And here it is 
at $9.46. So it's got a long way to go if it's ever going to get to uh, an all-time high. All right, this is acting very nicely. So I wanted to do that. And I wanted to also talk about um, Chant Wave. This, all right, so, uh, what did I do that in? Oh, I forgot to put down the, what, what it was. Let's see, ITB is a very important uh, sector right now. And that is the ITB is the uh, iShares US Home Construction. I'll be back in a moment for the final segment. Basil Chapman Dow's up 110, S&P's up 11. Tigers, you've seen his show, you've learned from his webinars, and now it's time to trade side by side with him. Join Larry Pesavento for the second month of his new service, Live Trading Fridays. Hosted in the Tiger's Den trading room on Discord, Larry has analyzed a number of commodities and indices, placed profitable trades, and explained his method. Whether you're new to trading or are a seasoned market veteran, trading side by side with a titan like Larry Pesavento will only enhance your game. Utilizing Fibonacci retracements and ABCD structures, Larry provides decades of insight into when to place trades, when to exit, when to ignore, and so much more. Learning is doing. So if you're serious about learning technical analysis and becoming profitable in this uncertain market, Live Trading Fridays is a must-have tool in your arsenal. Live Trading Fridays occur every second and fourth Friday of the month, so trading events for this month are May 10th and 24th. If you're serious about trading, we'll see you there. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So let me just do this real quickly, Basil Chapman here. Dow's up 128, SP's up 11, and thank you. I, I was waiting to hear from you, Gary. Maybe you're away, but it was, I couldn't understand why I wasn't getting anything, but now I am, FXI. FXI, you've got talking about the calls. Yes, uh, this is a leg after the upside. I did this work yesterday, <clears throat> and I, I like it. This is acting very, very well. It makes the uh, this is the iShares China Large Cap ETF. So that makes that nine period moving average of 27 and 96 the first support. 27.34 is the next support to go negative. It'll have to really drop sharply. At 29.05, up 73 cents. I like it very much. Now, let me just do this. Um, one of the reasons why, at, between my show and just after my show, we've seen so many times where the um, where the, the 10 minute gives has already, or it's just about to give a signal to say that it is turning green, 
and that it could turn into, like yesterday, a, um, a two-click session. Uh, for me, it's not a two. It would have been a two-click session for a while, but that uh, 53, 30, uh, 20, or was it 31, I think? Yeah, entry would have been taken out. Well, I took some off in any case. So what we're looking at here, there's a brand new session that could start from now. And I don't know if it's going to. What I'm saying is we're already in legs. Uh, this is a brand new leg B in the 10-minute uh, chart. Watch this closely. This is the E-mini. Use it as, as an example if you're using the futures. So that's a leg B. As long as that 9 period moving average holds, it could keep you in a trade right up until maybe 4 o'clock this afternoon. You never know. But most importantly, what I wanted to say is that the Dow, this move now, is confirmed for me that there should be higher highs to come in the Dow because if you have a leg C today, you can't make a peak C until tomorrow. That means you can't make a leg D until Monday or Tuesday. That means it's next week that you have to be looking at some kind of potential downturn. And I'm just saying potential. This is very strong. One of the reasons it remain quite strongly uh, uh, long in the uh, Dow is because it's it's acting extremely well. So with that said, if the Dow is able to uh, at, um, 